since I have all these Power Ranger seasons in these DVDs, let's actually go ahead and rank all these DVD cases because I actually want to talk about these DVD cases because they all kind of suck. So yeah. I had a better way of holding my camera, but uh, I don't have my tripod stand right now. So, uh, but yeah, coming in at last place is Operation Overdrive, not just because the season itself, but just simply for the fact that I had to even put my disc up like this as it is, because uh, it actually came in a little bit differently. Let's look at that. It comes in last place because it came in a case like this that holds four discs all together by stacking them on top of each other. And that is just the terrible way to hold disc. Like, this is terrible. So immediately I'm holding my uh, Mighty Morphin Special Features disc in there. But so I eventually just was like, well, I'm not going to have that. So I did some modifications with some of them. This holds three discs. And then this extra case that I had holds the fourth disc. And that's just how I have it together. So yeah, this comes in dead last of the 17 seasons. I actually hate the idea of putting Power Rangers RPM so low on this list because this seems like it'd be a good season. But this case, like you probably saw in the previous video, came in such a bad quality. Just see, look at it. It's already falling out. So as you can tell, this broke off, so it can't even hold the disc. The only good thing about this one being over that one is that each disc is compact in their little slot. So it actually kind of works out just leaving it in here and not messing with it because it's not going to slide all over the place. So that's at least one point better than the Operation Overdrive. So yeah. Coming in after that is Lightspeed Rescue and then Mystic Force. I'm doing these both together because they are very similar in their problems and in their cases. And I'll get into that. So let's go Lightspeed Rescue. So obviously you have a little nick over here. That's a problem with the case. And then coming in here at the bottom. Yep. Piece of plastic came out on this one. Yep. All in all, though, I think this actually holds the series very well, for what I remember. And, uh, yeah, um, the disc, I don't think, are coming out. I think it holds the disc very well. So even though it's a little broken, I probably should have ranked it higher because it's the better type of way of holding the disc with these type. But it could be more broken, but still, it holds the disc, so it's at least above RPM in that regards. Mystic Force, not a season I have care that much for but not a season I hate it comes in next because well it has a bit of the same problem it's a uh, it's cracking right here at the bottom but overall it, this actually holds less disc so it actually doesn't have to deal with that many problems but it has the same type of case that I like how it holds the disc better and you know it only has to hold four so it's not that big of a problem so definitely a step up from that because even though the piece is breaking off it's still on there so yeah Definitely a step up, but this is still poor quality. I really hate to have to do this next one, but it's got to be Time Force coming in here at whatever number this is. But yeah, it looks good. It looks fine. Hell, the case is all perfect. Everything's great. But when you get in here, when you look at it, these th these discs, they don't want to stay in. And that's, that's concerning when this isn't doing its job properly and you just have that problem for like four, hell, even kind of five discs, even this one doesn't hold that well. So that's just sad. And yeah, Time Force, really, really disappointed here. So yeah. Maybe I could have done Wild Force with Time Force since both seasons come right between each other, they're right beside each other. But this one comes in after it because while it holds five discs and the packaging is great and everything, it has the same problem as Time Force, but not as bad. Uh, so. I don't know if you can tell, but this one, I feel like it clicks in and holds it better. I can tell when I'm feeling it that the top one here doesn't hold it. And when I get here, the bottom one doesn't hold it. And you know, that's a bit concerning, but so far these feel very secure and like they're not gonna move. Maybe even a bit tough, maybe even a bit too tough, which is actually kind of sad, but yeah. I wish I could have ranked Time Force higher because I prefer that casing over this type, which has this weird little, where like only this one is attached, and then this one just has like a plastic hinge that could break off at any moment. But yeah, Wild Force after Time Force. So yeah. 
So coming in after that is Lost Galaxy, and yeah, we pretty much are done with the post Zordon era, but even though I don't really care for that, I don't really mind that, and even though it has a bit of a hiccup mark right here, I'm not really worried about that because this one actually holds my disc better than the last two seasons, really. Um, maybe it's a little worse than, uh, maybe it's a little bit about the same, but I feel like it clicks in better, and I just feel like I have a better all over experience with these discs lasting in this case better than Wild Force, because I think Wild Force kind of had a disc that fell out. <laughs> these also move better in their case, so they're not, like, getting caught when I, when I, like, circle them around like that, <laughs> like, like Wild Force did, so yeah. Lost Galaxy, you did pretty good for somewhat of an underrated season for the most part. So yeah, uh, this pains me. All right, well, Dino Thunder and Ninja Storm. These are my two favorite seasons. These are the only ones I've actually gone back and rewatched before buying all the Power Rangers DVDs. And I grew up watching these two, so I love them. And you'll see another season that I grew up watching that I, sorry, that I really like. So yeah. Let's just get into it. So uh, this one, it has a little bit of a scratch, but I don't really mind that as much. Maybe I should have since I minded it with Lost Galaxy, but this feels like a better case than Lost Galaxy in a way. It's the same type of way with Lost Galaxy, but it clicks in, they move around, they do about the same, but I, I don't know. I just, I feel like these hold better than you know, a lot of the other ones, and this is the season that I like, so it is a little bit higher, but yeah, Dino Thunder, and then Ninja Storm, its case is perfectly fine all the way throughout and all around, so yeah, also, I, I don't like that, like, why not just have just the three rangers together like you did over here, I, I don't know, but anyways, when looking at it, it's about the same, I think maybe I'm a bit more concerned for Ninja Storm, but I think Ninja Storm might actually hold the disc together better. Uh, it's, 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 it's about the same. Still a little concerning with these two, but they're kind of like right there, like just like that much there with Lost Galaxy and the other ones. But yeah, from here on out, we're going to start getting better DVD cases and everything's going to look pretty good in my opinion. So yeah, we're just putting all these together. It is the... Zeo through Turbo uh, vol volume packs. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same. I'm just going to look at one of each, and then you'll get the gist of it. And, well, yeah, let's just let, let's get into it. The thing that actually ranks these up above the other cases is, like, even though they come in volume packs, the discs actually hold in together very well for the cases that are going to. And I imagine this is because it only holds three. Because there's no flimsy bit, like in the five packs cases that are like these, these can perfectly hold discs fine. They move around. They feel good. Nothing about them feels like they're about to fall out. And I like that. I think Zeo comes in last because Zeo has a problem with its case where it's like, oh, 25 episodes. But it just states 25 for both volume packs here. So those definitely come in last. Now, Turbo and In Space, I think I like... Z in space better than turbo so i guess it's zeo turbo in space weirdly i don't know why but even though the seasons aren't like that but yeah you know it's uh it's about the same but here they end off with the right episode amount and then the next one has the correct episode beginning off with 24 and i'll show you see see it begins off with 24 wow who would have thought to do that wow but yeah in space i think it works and i think these cases work and I don't mind them. I just, part of me wishes that they just, they would have just put them in six packs. I, I mean, they did it with Mighty Morphin and we'll look at that eventually, but it, it would have worked. I would have been fine with it, but no, they, they didn't want to do that. Oh, we're close to the top now. And two seasons that, one season I grew up with and I love, one season I kind of watched a couple episodes and is really good. So yeah, let's get into it going from SPD to then Jungle Fury. So yeah, pretty much when looking at these, these are perfect. I mean, there's nothing broken on them. There's nothing cracked. They hold their disc in perfectly. You can even see that it's like clicked all of them. Uh, I just think I like Jungle Fury more because it feels much safer when holding the, uh, holding less disc. Cause this has five disc and Jungle Fury has 
only uh, four discs. So this this kind of concerns me, but it's not really that big of a deal if it doesn't concern you because I don't think it's even a problem at all. But that's just how I feel about it when looking at the Jungle Fury case. So yeah. So yeah, uh, Jungle Fury is pretty up there with the way the, the case is. I really like this. Maybe SPD should have been first because a lot of these don't feel as clicked in on the final one there, but I think the disc isn't going to fall out because it is better compact with just the four. So yeah, that's where, uh, that's where Jungle Fury and SPD land. Coming in at number one is the Mighty Morphin Season pack with the Alien Rangers and yeah, this is this is just great. The, this this is what they all should have been, and I'll get into it. But Mighty Morphin Season One and Season Two carry six discs. They're compact. They're not falling out. They're not going anywhere. It all works out, and I love it. So yeah, props to that. It's perfect. I bought it at Walmart. I didn't buy it online, so there's obviously no damage, no problem. And yeah, that's how Season One and Season Two is it. But let's get to season three, which I think I prefer the best over all of it with what I did. So, yeah. Also, this, I think, just has the best look. The Ninjetti modes and then, like, the season three, the way it's up top there, just works best than what they did with the other two seasons. So, yeah. But when I get into it, you know, originally, you know, it only had just the four discs for season four. But I added the Alien Rangers to this because that's the way I preferred it. And obviously, I had to do some modifications and rip apart that and take the alien ranger case and put it in here with these four in here so yeah it's a little bit weird but i didn't mess up the mighty morphin case i just have alien rangers with it and well yeah for my money i i think that's how it should have came i know for some cases it does come like that in a different case instead of coming in the you know special features two pack here but yeah for my money that's how it is. 